What's up, Mr. Fucking Desert Dime? <laughs> All right, what is going on guys? We are out in Barstow in the desert again. And today we are gonna be doing product testing and reviewing of the brand new tires I just got. And not just brand new to me, but brand new to the market. These tires just came out about a month ago. They were revealed at SEMA. So they are pretty, pretty brand spanking new. Also, as you can hear in the background, uh, we're out here also for a race that Andreas is racing in. So we're filming two videos again side by side. And we just got a tire pressure uh, sensor or reader. So that's gonna help with the airing down that we're about to do right now. But yes, the new tires that we got on just last night, just got them in and put on yesterday are the Toyo Open Country RT Trails. Not the RT, but the RT Trail. I don't know why they called it the same thing and just put trail after it. They look <laughs> they way different, that's why. They should have called it like a whole new thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Anyways, it's a toy -o -toy -o. like I said, they just came out with these. They just released them. First initial impressions, these are an aggressive looking tire. I have some footage from yesterday that I'll probably throw in here of when I had them in the bed of my truck before I got them put on. But they kind of look similar to the... Um, the KO2s I just took off, at least the sidewall. If you have them side by side, they look, at least the sidewall looks pretty similar. It's like their own take of the KO2s, but the tread looks more aggressive. So up until about less than a week ago, I had never heard of an RT before. I've only known of all terrains and mud terrains, but never, what is RT? Rough, no, it's not rough, it's um, rugged terrain. It's essentially a hybrid between an all terrain and a mud terrain. And much like anything that's kind of an in-between, sort of like mid-travel, it, through my research and trying to find other RTs when I was trying to buy tires, it seems like it's sort of a vague field, a vague area, a vague definition of what it can be because there are some RTs that are pretty damn close to an all-terrain and there's some RTs that are pretty damn close to a mud terrain, like they could be classified as one or the other. So I think it's kind of hard to find a true RT that really sits on a line between the two. And I think these do a pretty damn good job at it. As you can see, they're bigger, blockier knobs. They have a little more space between, but it's not quite as aggressive as a mud terrain. So I'm really excited to test these out today. I'm really excited to see what they could do. And we're just gonna air them down right now and get some runs in the desert. Also, as far as sizing goes, I'll put a picture on the screen right now. They have a chart on their website, but for the 16 inch wheel that I run, and you guys know I love my 16 inch wheel and I would have to really go through a drastic change in the truck to change them to a 17. They only make one tire size. Luckily, it's the size that I was already running previously. So it's nothing nothing new size wise. And I'm kind of glad about that because I don't want to go back to rubbing. I love not rubbing. I rub a little too much. And the upside is now my spare tire is a dedicated spare. Before I was doing a five point rotation with the full size spare, but now I have the old tire on the wheel that doesn't have a tire pressure sensor. So it's a dedicated spare and the same size or the same tire size as the ones I'm running now. So really stoked on all of this. I'll try to get some shots of these today and we'll try to get a nice quick day review. Obviously we're gonna have to do maybe a follow up video after I get more time on them, but We'll do a quick uh, first initial impression video today. All right, so unlike the suspension video that we just did like a week ago-ish out here, there's not a whole lot that I could be showing you on like GoPros and cameras, because once the tire gets spinning past like 10 miles an hour, it's just a blur, you can't see it. So I'm trying to really like not record and get a really good feel, personally as the driver, so I can relay it to you uh, like at the end of the day and kind of tell you how it feels. For real. So we're gonna drive a little bit more, try not to get hit. And I feel like we gotta go that way to where the trucks are and cross there. We gotta go that way. I'm not going with there's a skull and crossbones. That means there's good stuff, there's treasure. That's not how that works. <laughs> all right, so we hopped in at the wash over on Barstow Main, took the wash all the way down to Slash X here. I never once lost traction going through the wash. The reason I went through the wash is because it's like the softest part, I think, in the area we're in. So they never once, I never had anything flashing saying I was losing traction. I never felt it spinning. The only times that I felt it not like struggle, but like not be fully traction is from a dead stop in the soft wash. But still even then, with the old tires, I'd feel like my back end start to spin and sink itself a little. And then once it sank enough, then it would grab and start like, it'd feel like it's forcing me through instead of being on top and just grabbing and rolling. These felt, however, they didn't have to sink before I started moving. As soon as I hit the gas, they just grabbed and started propelling me. And the whole way through, it didn't feel like I was forcing myself through 
like the soft rock and soft sand it was just kind of staying on top of it and moving the whole time but the one thing gk did just point out right now is you see all these little tiny specks on the tires <laughs> i thought they were little like little rocks and stuff in the tread but they're they're little stickers from something i didn't go off the course at any point we were we were on trails the entire time never ran over a bush but every single tire is sprinkled with these like all the way around this tire this tire this tire and this one all of them are just sprinkled with these little guys so i guess this is going to be a true test to see if i get a flat i guess now's a good time to talk about how many plies they are so on the sidewall it tells us where is it where'd it go okay so plies so on the tread they have a two plies of steel, three plies of polyester, and two plies of nylon. So it's a seven ply on the tread. And then for the sidewall, it's three plies of polyester. So seven ply and three ply, which I think, I forget what the KO2s are. I want to, oh, they're right here. I was gonna say, I want to say it was a 10 ply, but I honestly don't remember. Uh, I don't know. These are three polyester, two steel, and one nylon. So it's one less layer on the tread, and then three polyester on the sidewall. So sidewall is the same. Three polyester, two steel. Ah! So three polyester, two steel. So yeah, it's the, everything about these are the same except this has one more nylon layer. All right, GK is making me get out of here because I'm literally picking one at a time. I got half a tire done. But we're gonna head back out into the desert, do some more testing, and we'll catch up once we're back at uh, the pits. All right, so now that we finish up race day, the race is over, everything's getting packed up right now, I can uh, go ahead and wrap up this tire review video. Again, it's like a first initial impre- I wanna be in the outro! Can I, can I be in the outro? Bye, guys! It's for a different video, but- Damn me! <laughs> like I said, this is gonna be like a first impression. I didn't have a whole lot of time on it today because there was a race going on. I just wanted to get out today, drive around on them, compare them a little bit, and again, we'll probably do like a follow-up after maybe like halfway through the season and see really how they feel and stuff. But let's talk about them a little bit. So first off, I wanna talk about the looks, obviously. Again, they, they resemble a little bit like a KO2, but again, this is a RT, so kind of a crossover between an all-terrain and a mud-terrain. You can really see that in the tread pattern here. It's a lot more blocky, thicker blocks instead of like three smaller ones, aggressive sidewalls with big teeth, uh, nice big chunked corners, and a little bit more spacing between the tread. So they look amazing, they look aggressive. I love everything about how they look. Now, as far as on-road performance, the only difference I really notice is the noise level. Again, there are bigger blocks and there is a little bit more spacing. So there's a little bit more noise. Like, if, with everything I have going on with the truck, like the exhaust and the radio and I drive with my windows down, you hardly notice it. But if you're just like, cruising with low volume you can kind of hear it's like a little bit more of a whine compared to the ko2s but again it's an rt not an at so you have to expect a little bit more noise it's still not as bad as an mt though trust me it is not that bad <laughs> other than that the ride feels pretty much the same really smooth really comfortable it doesn't feel knobby at all and now to the off-road performance like i said earlier today i feel like it's grabbing a bit better nothing super crazy like oh my god i would choose these over an all-terrain any day of the week kind of thing um, but I definitely did feel a little bit more bite in the rear, especially when going through the wash. I was definitely feeling a, a lot more bite out of them. Now, I'm sure you notice more of a difference if you're doing like snow or mud or sand or silt or stuff, but we just don't have that out here right now, which is why I said we're gonna have to do a follow-up video later in the season once it's had more time in different terrains. Again, you guys saw earlier in the video the different sizes they have. Um, so they give a wide range of sizes depending on your wheel size. Again, I'm on a 16, so I only had one size option, which I'm fine with. This is the size I wanted anyways. As far as price goes, these are only priced, I believe, $10 more per tire compared to the KO2 and I think that $10 is made up for in, in performance. And honestly, all around just a great tire. I think it's definitely a contender for the daily driver, uh, somewhat fairly priced for an off-road tire, a larger size tire, comfort level's good, the off-road capability's good. Like, I think this is definitely up there at the very top of my list. And I'm super stoked with them all together. I'm so glad I got on them. I'm so glad that they were easy to come by. I thought because they just came out a month ago that they were gonna be hard to come by. 
but I literally put the order in and got it maybe a day or two later, so that's pretty great. So again, that's my first initial, first impression, first day out on them. We are gonna have to run them for the season and we're gonna have to give a more in-depth review later, but I'm super, super stoked with this new product that Toyo just dropped. I'm glad I switched over to them and I'm just super thrilled so far. So thank you guys for watching this very quick video and I will catch you guys in the next one.